Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Vice President, Worldwide Public Sector, Amazon Web Services, Teresa Carlson. Hey, how are you? Okay, welcome to day one of our Public Sector Summit and welcome to our second annual Earth and Space on AWS. So many advances happening both in commercial and public sector, and we have a lot of learning today. And I actually hope you'll stay with us over the next two days because what we've done is integrate all the Earth and Space into our tracks. So we took from last year and had a day. Now we just kind of integrated it in and we're kicking it off with uh, this keynote along with two amazing speakers you're going to hear about today. But I'm also excited to see the results of our hackathon for good when it ends tonight. So we have so much, we have, we have so many things happening. I'm having a hard time kind of keeping up. Uh, and over the next hour, you're going to hear from two incredible speakers two amazing women. So Dr. David Newman, who's gonna explore some of the great questions we still have about space, like are there, is there life on other planets? Also Lori Garver, the CEO of Earthrise Alliance, will explain how Earth science is helping to address climate change. So I think you guys are gonna have two amazing speakers and then we're going to do a little fireside chat together. Also, AWS is proud to have so many innovative Earth and space customers, and we are just getting going. For example, Digital Globe, the world's leader in providing high resolution images on Earth, they have collected 80, they collect today 80 terabytes of data a day, and it's, they're all in with AWS. They're an amazing company. And they've used SageMaker to train uh, caching algorithms against 100 petabyte databases in just one week. So just amazing work from them. And Digital Globe really is helping customers move more quickly now to solve problems like mapping remote African villages to deliver vaccines to them. And just a while back, we began asking customers like Digital Globe how we could help lower the barriers using satellite data. And we came up with an idea for AWS Ground Station, which again, hopefully will be one of many releases you'll see from us in the Earth and space area. Ground Station is a fully managed service that lets you control satellite communications and process data without having to build out your own infrastructure, which that alone is a major game changer. And on May the 23rd, we announced general availability for Ground Station. And it's available immediately in US East in Ohio and US West in Oregon. And we'll expand to additional regions and locations really soon, so stay tuned. But we're excited to have general availability now of AWS Ground Station. And as we gather more and more data from space, we have a chance to think big about how that data can help us actually build a better world. And today, we're launching a new initiative with Cal Poly to do just that. The Satellite Data Solutions Initiative will harness satellite data to address real world challenges. This initiative will run through Cal Poly Digital Transformation Hub, which is a cloud innovation center we partner with Cal Poly in. And students and faculty will learn by doing. They will gain important skills in space technology. And by working with the AWS Ground Station team, they'll be able to help test and improve satellite connectivity. So I'm very excited about that for both Cal Poly, the students, and the ability to really process and analyze that data for world good. And now we're also working closely with customers to ensure that our AWS Open Data Registry hosts high quality data sets that can advance research. And today, we're proud to announce that 21 research projects will receive AWS credits 
and technology support to find solutions to these, sustainable, to these sustainability challenges. And the winners that we chose, these 21 research projects, all came from low and middle income countries, including Costa Rica, Egypt, India, and Kenya, and a few more. But one example is the National Institutes of Space Research will study how land use is changing in Brazil. And they'll learn more about each winner. You'll get to learn more about each one of these winners at the Earth observations.org. So again, if you go to earthobservations.org, you'll learn uh, much more about all these and can track their projects. 